Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Evil Bank Manager. I've been checking out our wars and first of all, in Scotland we haven't invested all the possible money, so let's invest it now. Ooh, I don't mind, but we're gonna sell it anyway, it's too small. Next up we have Mevad versus Dundar, and this is actually interesting because they're both small, so we could pick either one of them. They're both 20, 20, 20, so we can pick whichever. So which one do you think we should take? I think we'll go with Dundar. We're gonna invest all the gold we can in Dundar. Go. And then we're gonna buy the license in Dundar. Okay? Now, since the IMF auction has already started, now every 10 turns there's been there is gonna be another auction for IMF. So we wanna make sure that at turn 60 we're gonna have quite a lot of money. I've already done all we could here, so I think let's well actually let's check the investments or loans. I think we've already done both. Yeah. So let's just go to the Scotland and watch as they destroy England. Good. Now do we get any good investment options? No, nothing all that great to be honest. Nah, eh, nothing good. Well the tree felling in Jianzu. I mean what do we have in Jianzu? Are we keeping Jianzu or no? I think I said I wanna keep it, I'm not so sure now. We have a tree felling and not a tree felling, eh. You have to increase the production a lot. But I mean, yeah, let's do it. You already agreed we want to keep it. So I'll buy the tree felling in Nguta and let's make sure that uh, we can increase the industry as much as we can in Nguta. Oh, this costs 8,000, which I don't have, which is not a problem. So let me just sell the farm. What did we just get? Luxury. Let me just sell the tennis workshop in Dundar and also the license in Dundar. As usual, sell the license, go away. And you can actually see now, I want to show you, that the East Yapor, which was also 2020-20, is now 777. So this, every time the war ends, this actually falls. That's why I kind of want to be... It's, it's not that... If you start a war somewhere, it's good, but you have to realize that like if you start a war like this, like it's good, it costs you only like 15,000 for now, but then you have to pay an extra money to increase the industry, which can cost quite a bit, so it's something to think about. We're actually paying quite a lot here. Now let's check if, can I grow the industry in Sistan? Yeah, let's grow this one. In Sukhothai, no. And in Beya, unavailable, good. Now we can buy, we already bought, bought that, okay we bought the thing we wanted to. Now we have a lot of leftover wood which means that we're not doing enough work. We, are ha we have too much wood for our work so what we want to do is we want to try, let me first lock the stone here and sell all the civilian goods and then we want to try to work with science and possibly get more work. So where could I move? Oh I can't actually move anywhere until I do this increase your gold by 50%. Which really is a waste right now. Well, I could do this. Okay, I could do this. Allows to control more properties of type of real estate. And then we can move during this. Well, amount of investments in property plus 200,000. This could be actually pretty good. So we'll, we'll focus on these two. This can get us quite further. We're not going to be doing much with the work right now. But something I could do about it. Alternatively, next thing we could do actually is we can... No, sorry, I cannot click on it. If we can upgrade our... Okay, so we need four more regions. So if we find a few wars and upgrade at the right time, it could work. So Kashmir, Kangra. Oh, this is perfect. Kashmir, let's open it here. And let's start the war. And we're joining Kashmir, I said, right? Let's uh, invest all the gold we can. And we're also going to sell all of our weapons. Make sure we get some extra money. Now, anywhere else I could go, I can always sell that license. Need it? No. Nothing. Okay, well then let's just move towards the next turn. Well, actually no, we should first do any loans we have, which is just like one loan, but it's still something, it's better than nothing. Go here, next move. Good. Oh, we got attacked. In Jianzu. I don't particularly mind that too much. Whoa! Japan is, has a lot of banks there. Now we're gonna just join our side 
Invest all the money we can, which is only 13,000. Get a cottage. Sell all the weapons. We're making 16,000 per turn, which is not bad, but could be better. And let's check any more wars. Andesh Baglan. Andesh. Oh, Baglan is good. Open the license. Join the war. Come on. Let me join the war. Baglan. Join the war here. Put our 32,000 in it. Ooh, Iron Man. Okay, we might be keeping Baglan. I don't know yet, but we might, because it's a big one. Never slow. I mean, Harkina is going to be too big. I think. Yeah. Never Lorraine. That ain't good. Lorraine is good. Open the license. Now at this point I don't have enough money, so let's just jump to Scotland and sell all the luxury we have there. Bye bye Scotland. Also Kashmir. Yeah, let's get rid of Kashmir as well. Let's sell the licenses to both. Scotland, sell the license. Already another bank there. Kashmir, sell the license. Baba. And what was it I wanted to join? Nevers, right? Or was it Lorraine? Which side am I? Yeah, I have Lorraine. Okay, I was just that would be bad if we joined the other side. So let's invest all the gold in Lorraine. Good, we get a cottage. That's fine. 110,000. Now we get a tree filling in Sistan. I'm gonna take it. I do would like the iron mines, but what do we have in real estate, by the way? We have a cottage in Sistan. Let's sell it. I'd rather get some iron mines there. So let's move towards the next turn. And we can watch Lorraine win. Good. Good, 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 good. We get a... Ooh, Topaz mine? No, let's just take the mine. Can I get any good regular mine? Tree felling in Lorraine. Now, what did we get in Lorraine? We got that, uh, that iron mine, didn't we? I feel like we did. Was it in? No, that was in Maglan, not in Lorraine. So no, no, no. I don't want to go for Lorraine. I'm gonna stick to Maglan, I think. So Lorraine, let me remove what I have in you, which is real estate. Yeah. Bye bye. And I'm gonna sell that license. I don't need you, Lorraine. Bye bye. Good. Now, Baglan, first of all, what you can do is you can zoom out and you can just see all the wars and all of your all of your countries. Now, Baglan is here, which is not the best. Well, it's, I think it's probably far enough from Sistan. If we aim upwards with Sistan and downwards with with Baglan, we would we will be fine. So you gotta make sure that they're not neighbors. If they become neighbors, it's gonna be bad for you because then they can attack each other and they can hurt you. What is this? Ramazan do Kadirida. Nearly tiny? Yeah, do Kadirida is small, it seems. Ramazan. Yes, yeah, so we can actually do it here. Let's, as usual, open a license and join the war on do Kadirida. So now, I'm sure that, like, Ram we already had Ramazan, didn't we, in this place? I feel like we did. Ramazan's like, what's happening? You were just helping me and now you're hurting me. Like, what's that about? Yeah, we're not going to be doing this in the Lorraine. Let me just... We already sold the license and got rid of all our property in the Lorraine. So, all good. All good. Yeah, all the money is invested. Yeah, on both sides. One more turn for this. Any other good war? No. Now let's do all the loans. Oh, right. I, I, I sold the region too soon, didn't I? Yeah, we need three more regions. So I think we'll... Maybe next turn we'll try to not sell the licenses just yet. So that we can actually... Just need two more countries. So if I can... Find another place like Tunisia. You're fighting who? Too big? No guys, Astrakhan. This is pretty big, and it doesn't have high available investment, so definitely not. Savoy, Switzerland. How big is Savoy? Savoy is huge. Switzerland. It's pretty big. 
However, I'm thinking about just taking this because remember we just saw the silent next one. So I'm gonna join Switzerland and I wanna do that upgrade. So this actually allows me to do that. Switzerland, let's invest all the gold we have. Go. Only get an iron mine. But I don't think I'll keep eh. Do we keep Switzerland or not? We'll, we'll decide next time. This is such a rough choice. But now we can do the upgrade here, and that's pretty important. Uh, let's also upgrade investments especially and espionage well, let's actually upgrade everything while we have the stone there's no reason not to and we want to upgrade the armory because that will finally allow us to actually catch up because we now have a bit more available work this is now 2250 per turn which was much less before so this is now this should hopefully help out with all the wood now i also want to hi hire better people so let's start looking for some experts. We'll look for three at a time. And we'll try to find numbers. Yeah, 21 in guards is perfect. 17 in diplomacy. I don't think... I mean... What do we have? Yeah, okay, well... Oh. We have like 12. Yeah, it's not the best numbers. Okay, 24 in guards, yes please. 17 in loans, yes please. 18 in guards, yes please. So you go away, you go away. We'll put the two guards there. And we have a 14 in diplomacy. Actually, this was supposed to be 17 in loans, wasn't it? So let's put you in loans. And we have 14 in loans. Okay, well, the 17 loans in, in guy in loans go back. The 14 guy will go in and we'll put this guy to diplomacy. But we need some good guys for investment, at least one more. Ooh, 27 in diplomacy, 23 in investments. Wow. 23 in investments, you go straight in. 27 in diplomacy instead of the 12 guy. I'm gonna do one more search to see if anyone is like exceptionally good. 21 investments, yes please. 17 guards is probably useful. So 21 instead of you. And in guards, the 11 guy can go away. Good. Next up. We want to make sure that we look at the investments. Tree filling in Baglan. Yeah, I think we'll do it. No iron mine option, so we'll do it. We'll do the tree filling in Baglan. And also we want to make sure that we upgrade Baglan in industry. Great top defense. And we can also upgrade ba Baya now. So let's upgrade this. And we'll start negotiating with Baglan. I don't think I'll keep Switzerland. I feel like we already have way too many. Way too many countries. Now, let's just um, watch Switzerland win, I guess. Good. However, we could keep that region until we need to sell it or until it's going to return. Okay. Oh, this game is like, every time I say something, it's like, no, I'm going to make you change your mind. No, because I mean, 34,000 mine in Switzerland. I cannot say no to this. I'm sorry. It's just like, I can't. Because we, I remember, we already have one mine in Switzerland that I was going to say no to, this guy. But like with this one, I'm like, I've got to take you. Okay, so Switzerland, friendly Switzerland's like, no, you can't leave me. I want to be with you. I'm like, well, if you're giving me this kind of an offer, I cannot say no, man. Okay, Switzerland for the win, I guess. And and the Switzerland, Switzerland region is actually quite fantastic. So putting stuff there would be good. So then let me say bye bye to, to Duca de Rida at least. Because I want some money, remember that. And if we keep having all this, if we keep all the regions, then we don't have much money. So that's not great. Sell the license. North Bank, you can have a feast. I'm leaving. Uh, do we want to get rid of Baglan? What do we have in Baglan? We I know we have the tree falling, but oh no, we actually have an iron mine there as well. Okay, okay, I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh my god, so many countries go, and we're like it turned fifty-five. We're supposed to have like two countries at this point. We have like a gazillion. Now where do we have that iron mine? Invest in Nor Romandy. So let's go let's upgrade that as much. As we can. Anything else? Jianzu. Oh yeah, let's upgrade you. Bea, we already did. Sukotai, fully upgraded here. Sistan, oh, well, not, not much of a point to upgrade this. Now, we've done the investments. 
Let's do the loans and then we'll check. Oh, I should have checked how long the loans take. One more thing we could check. Marty and Perugia, we could give them like 15,000 for a turn. It's not gonna bankrupt them, but it's gonna give me a little bit of money. And I should have checked the wars, but I don't think I have the money for a war anyways. Well, do I, can I sell? Yeah, all of these I wanna keep, so. And I have, how much do I have in weapons? 40,000 weapons though, okay. So change of plans. If there's a war, I could go for it. Plutonia, Crimea. Crimea sounds like it could be small. Yes, it is. So, let's join the war first on Crimea's side. Ooh, we're gonna decimate all these banks. We're gonna devalue their property. I'm gonna sell all of our weapons. Invest all the gold. For a tree filling, which will sell because I cannot take another country right now. I already have too many. And we're gonna be opening the license. And I mean, there is no like a disadvantage to having too many countries, but it, I, I, until they get to the point where they become neighbors, and then it's gonna be a big problem for you. Now, we don't have enough gold, but that's okay. We can just sell all our civilian goods, and we're fine. Let's watch Jianzu conquer Japan and destroy all these banks. Bye bye. Let me destroy you. What? Okay. Why didn't we see it? Did Jianzu only had one country before this? Like one region? I guess it did. Yeah, no, it has three now. Where's the third one? See one? Two? Where's number three? East Liangon, Ninguta, and Sanya. This is Ninguta. This is East Liangon. Where's Sanya? Oh, Sanya's here. Oh, that's actually pretty far away. Okay. Now, okay, problems. Samyo has a lot of competitor banks. It's going to be difficult to invest there. And also, all the banks apparently now have a license in Jianzu as well. I'm thinking whether we want to just... What do we have in Jianzu? I think we have some good mines there, don't we? Refilling... And it's refilling. I'm thinking that we just want to bow out of GM Zoo. And the reason this might seem weird, like why do we do it? Well, it's it gets really difficult if you have a lot of competitors because every time you, and essentially if you have this many competitors investing in a region, you cannot do it anymore because you get a high available investment, and any one of these banks can kind of grab it and steal it, which happens pretty often. So. I'm actually even thinking whether you just want to leave out of this. Because this is not great. We do have those tree fellings, but like, I don't know. Ooh, another iron mine in Switzerland. Let's, yes please. Oh, and another iron mine in Switzerland. But this one is bigger than one in Switzerland, so I'll take it. We have a lot of leftover wood that we're not turning into work anyways. So potentially... Ooh, I'm really thinking whether we want to do that. It would kind of free up quite a bit of money too, which is not the worst. Wait, are we not making crossbows? No, we are. We're already using up all the work just for the halberds. So we are already starting to have leftover iron at this point. So we gotta upgrade our headquarters so just so we can upgrade our armory. Really. So I'm not gonna be selling Jianzu just yet, but I think I'm gonna turn off the, the negotiations. I'm mean, gonna bow out of there. Trust me, it's it's not worth it because it's really it gets really difficult. Now you can reduce, like suspend competitors' bank activities. Like for example, we cannot do it because it's not available here. But if we would uh, work on implants, we could, and that means that you can freeze. Well, actually, let me show you just why not. We can freeze all the banks, so th all of these banks will not be able to buy anything in that place for 10 turns, but any other bank could join in. So this is something that you can do, like if I really wanted to invest in Jianzu, I could do the investment, freeze these banks. It's always a risk for a different bank jumping, swooping in and taking it over. And like I said, I think I think it's probably worth it to bow out this early on this, because Jianzu would be doomed from this point on. So. I'll keep it for now, just so that I can upgrade my headquarters and get more work again. But... No good war either. But yeah, it's, it's not worth it. I can issue just one loan. 
I'm going to do this one. This is, it has a high chance of loan defaulting and I would like some good property in Western Central Thailand. So we'll go with that. Oh, Sistan got attacked again. So. We can invest extra 8,000 there. Let's do it. We get a silver mine, which I'm going to be selling. And we can sell... Oh, well, we need to... Let's sell all the weapons, because why not? Move towards the next turn. Good. 51,000 is nice. Any good investment? Tree felling in Sistan. Okay. We want to start taking the tree fellings because as soon as we'll sell Jianzu, then we're going to lose a lot of well, tree production. Vianagar versus Misor. One of you is small. Misor, let's open the license, join the war, invest, oh we can't actually invest many gold, we can sell all the weapons, we're making 20,000 in weapons per turn, still not, but yeah, it's, it's mostly the work that is just like not catching up, so let's sell the license in Crimea, definitely want, don't want you, what do I have in Crimea, luxury, no real estate no we have industry in crema what did i have in crema actually i had to have something there is crema weird I, I thought I had something there. No, I guess not. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, never mind. So we sold the license in Crimea, and apparently whatever we had there. Pretty confusing. Yeah, it, we must have sold it. Okay, never mind. And we wanted to start a war in, yeah, we want to go to Misor and invest all the money we can. Get a grain farm, which will sell. It's worth five. Anything else? Georgia, Cherkessia. Georgia, Cherkessia. No, this is not Cherkessia. Let's fight in here. Georgia versus Cherkessia. Yeah, we'll open it in Cherkessia. So let's actually sell. Misor, we cannot sell it because we're just. So we're going to have to sell the Gianzu now. Okay. So first of all, let's sell all the property I have in Gianza. Capital. I'm really confused about the crime. I just I thought I had something there. Gianzu. Bye bye tree filling. And bye bye tree filling number two. And we're gonna go to the map. We still have something in Gianzu, so real estate? Map, Gianzu, let me sell the license. Bye bye. And I wanted to join. Cherkessia? Yeah, Cherkessia, open the license. And please let me join and invest all the money. All the money. Tree filling. So you get the tree filling straight back. <laughs> I'm not sure if we're keeping it, but we get it. Credits. Let's issue all the loans. Move towards the next turn. Now. Okay. Apartment Sistan, no, we'll take the money. Printing press, no, we'll take the money. Cottage, no, we'll take the money. So next turn we'll get all the money back. Now it's turn 58, so we can do one more war. But afterwards we kind of have to sell the licenses and just make sure that we have the money. So Valahia, how big are you now? Still too big, still too big. Uh, Anaza Fuddle. Fuddle small. So let's sell all my weapons to Fuddle, because I want the money anyways. We still cannot invest all of it here, so we'll go to... Wow, we have so much stuff. Misor. 
And now let's sell whatever we have in the store. Not this. We a uh, farm. We have a farm in the store, don't we? Yeah. And the license. Missor license. Go. Go, 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 go. Go to Fuddle. Fuddle, Fuddle, Fuddle. Invest all my money. And we're gonna sell Cherkessia next time because we're making us some wood right now. So we can just wait. So let's watch. Oh, uh, and we should do loans if they're only for one term. No, this one's no good. Investments. Iron Mine and Sistan. It's a tiny one, but I'll take it anyway. Let's watch this. Now. Stone Mine, Cherkessia, no, don't care. Tree uh, Logger's Hut in Sistan. Okay. I'll do it. Now, let's sell all the licenses. Uh, first, wait. First, can I upgrade my headquarters? Now, nah, only 17. So, we're gonna sell all the licenses that we don't need. So, first of all, let's sell all the stuff we don't need. So, Luxury. No, Luxury. We have a um, silver mine in Sistan. We don't want it. We don't want it. Real estate. We have nothing. Farms. We have stuff in Fuddle. We don't want it. And we have some industrial places. We don't want it. Cherkessia tree filling. Go away. And everything else. Baglan. We decided to keep. Yeah. Everything else we want to keep. So that's good. So let's go to the map and sell the license in Cherkessia. And we'll also sell the license in Fuddle. Yeah, keep the rest. Cannot invest anything anymore. Now, anything else? Yeah, we should sell all our civilian goods except stone. And we have 235,000. Oh, and we should also invest all our weapons into any random war. Like... Oh, Basta is small, so actually Golconda is small, so let's join Golconda. They're at war for two turns, so we can sell them all the weapons. And then next turn, we'll buy the license there and do all the other stuff, but not right now. And let's move towards the next turn. Towards the big IMF. 4%. I'm willing to pay what? What am I willing to pay? Like 100,000 for it? Well, but some of these banks... Oh, that's me. I was going to say some of these banks are really big, but that's me. Uh, 100,000? Oh my god, this is this is so nerve wracking. 100,000. 150? No, 100. We'll do 100. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Please don't buy this nerve 130, do we buy it now? Uh, 125, 120, 120, 120, uh, 117. I want to go to 100. I don't know, this is too much of a risk. 191, uh, let's buy it now. No, 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 no. Ah, okay. Ah, oh, that's so nerve wracking. <laughs> I don't have a result for that. I'm like, no, I need to buy this. I need to buy it. Look at us, we're flying. 11% of IMF, first on top of the world. Now, science. Can we move forward? No, we can't, because this is joining all the stuff from this. I'll take the one of the three tasks for mercenaries is always against Christian's competitor. We'll go with that, I think. Farm in Bea, no, we'll recover the money. I think that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.